So here it is, my car, a 1987 Toyota MR2. So, are you impressed? Well, you're probably not impressed, because I'm missing exterior trim, I'm missing side skirts, I have crappy wheels and tires, I've got paint chips, more paint chips, the car is also very dirty, I've got a cracked sunroof, I have horrible, obnoxiously loud exhaust. Now let's look at the interior. I'm missing half of it as you can see. But you see, none of these drawbacks really matter. Because this is a car I built myself. I bought it around two and a half years ago and I single-handedly took out the engine, took it apart, had it rebuilt, and then assembled the engine myself. Put it back in and, you know, it actually works. And, and I'm having difficulties believing that. Now, the interesting thing is that before this car, I never even changed the oil on a car. And the last two years I spent working hard on it, researching, learning, uh, asking really stupid questions on forums. And this car is actually a result of, of all that. And today, today is the day that I actually get to drive it for the first time on an open road and see what it's like. As I told you, it's obnoxiously loud. Also, I got these gloves. I bought these like also two and a half years ago. And I waited two and a half years to wear them actually in this car. Now, I don't really need them today because I can't drive fast enough because I haven't broken in the engine. And you know, the steering wheel is just fine. My hands aren't sweaty, but I want to wear them today. And don't you dare judge me. Man, it's loud. But it sure feels great. I can't really rev it anywhere beyond like five or six thousand. At least I shouldn't for the first like 500 miles or so. But right now it feels great. This car is actually lowered too. I mean, I haven't lowered it myself. It has some really weird springs on it. Like a brand that, you know, no one ever heard about. And it makes the car really uncomfortable. But now I realize that they feel really great in the curves. Yeah, I'm gonna rev it past 5,000, who cares? Wow. I mean, there's, there's very few words that could describe what I'm feeling right now. Because the last two and a half years, honestly, I spent learning things, you know, I never thought I'd learn about, you know, about you know, com compression ratios, you know, and, and, and cam lobes and cam separation angles, you know, and things that, you know, y if you asked me two and a half years ago, I would have no idea what they are, you know, and it really feels cool that you can talk about that stuff, you know, and nobody understands you. But now I actually get to drive this thing, you know, and, and it feels, you know, it feels a bit, a bit like a dream. Because, you know, every day I went to work, every morning listening to music, and all I imagined was sitting in this car and driving it. And, you know, for, for somebody, this is probably, you know, just another old car, just another analog rust bucket. But for me, you know, it's, a, it's something special. It's a personal journey. It's, it's, it, it's, it's so much more than just a car. Whoa. This is really loud. This was really a long journey. And this isn't the end of it. It's actually just the beginning. Because I still have to work on the suspension. I still have to work on, you know, the interior, which is obviously horrible. Maybe even do a paint job. There's a lot to do. And there's a lot I want to do. I want to make this car, you know, I want to make it the best it can be and I want to be proud of it one day, you know, and I think it's going to be a really great journey.
So a few words uh, about the engine. Uh, what I have in here is a stock uh, 4AG uh, 16 valve big port that came with the car. Uh, what I have done to it is I have some mild cams in it uh, from CAT cams which are uh, 8 millimeter lift, 244 duration on both intake and exhaust and there's a B. Um, I have also ported and polished the head myself. Uh, if you want to see how I did that you can click on the suggested video. Uh, I have also uh, balanced, statically balanced the pistons and the con rods. Uh, the crankshaft has been dynamically balanced. Uh, the block has been bored 0.5 millimeters. The pistons are cast pistons from, from a small port, from a 4AG small port, which raised the compression to about 10.2, uh, 10.3. Uh, I have also uh, reconditioned and rebuilt the injectors. Uh, the transmission, the entire transmission has been overhauled by a pro professional. So, so, all the synchros have been replaced. If you want to see the transmission rebuild, you can also click on the suggested video. And I have adjustable cam pulleys uh, from, from Technotoy Tuning. And if you want to see the whole rebuild of the engine, you know, like a time lapse thing, you know, the whole almost two years worth of work and research and, you know, everything else, you can click on the suggested video again and see, you know, the whole thing done in like two minutes which is really entertaining. So, uh, a few words of conclusion. The car feels really solid, I'm really happy. You know, the, the driving feeling is, is, is amazing, it's really analog and it's, you're right there with the car and it's actually what I wanted and what I expected. Uh, the car feels strong, it's pulling really well. I think I can still squeeze a few more horsepower by playing with the timing, so we'll be working on that in the future. But you know, uh, other than that, their car is not overheating, uh, it's not doing anything weird, you know, it fires up, it drives, it brakes, and to be honest, you know, this is probably weird to say, but I'm, I'm amazed that everything works so well. There was a little bit of troubleshooting in the beginning, but far less than I expected. And you know, to think of it that, you know, a couple of years ago I couldn't, I couldn't change the oil, you know, right now I have a car that I you know, put the engine in and I'm driving it around. And to be honest, the, you know, the whole thing built versus bought, there really is something to it. So right now this I see this you know as a really cool beginning of a really nice journey. And if you want to see more of it, please stay tuned to my channel. If you want of course subscribe. If you think I suck, do comment. So see you. Now, I've never really driven an old car before, and this feels so much more different than anything I've driven before. I mean, you feel right on the road, and this is actually what I wanted. I wanted the, the analog experience of owning a car, you know, feeling the machine, feeling the road, feeling the steering wheel. And this car has none of these, you know, modern gimmicks. I mean, they're not gimmicks, I mean, but it doesn't have ABS, it doesn't have ASP, it doesn't have any of that things. So it's just you, and it's just the car, and the road. And this is really one of, the, one of the best roads where I live. And I just realized that I'm driving without license plates. <laughs>